Are you okay with hands or do you want to maneuver yourself? Men pay me to shave their balls. I mean, it literally is the beginning of a corner, isn't it? I'm probably taking my clippers to well over 200, man. There's a lot of loose skin. If you snag something, it's going to cut their balls. Oh, a little bit of blood flow there. The skin stretches and it actually is a lot safer. I think there definitely are people out there who advertise manscaping and then also have sex with their clients. You ready? How would you like me to cut your hair today? So my name's Rodney and I'm a barber by day and by night I'm a manscaper. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Do you know what? Very open about manscaping. If it's like an 80 year old man, you might not, might not mention it. A lot of them from here actually come and get manscaping with me. I've visited Rodney a couple of times. I'm due again for the summer for a little tidy up. A little tidy up. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in a place called Wayala. It's in South Australia. I had a great childhood. I just had a really nice time growing up. I started thinking about barbering. So I moved to the UK, moved straight to London, enrolled in a really well-known barber college. Yeah, I'm just gonna wax this tiny little bit of hair here. For a manscaping session, my clients range from 20 to 60. I've had every different type of guy, gay, straight, and bisexual. One, two, three. <laughs> so next night, I've got a client of mine called Marco. Um, I've cut his hair quite a few times before, but this will be his first time visiting me for a manscaping session. So I'll just have to work out what he wants. So it's 20 pounds, please. Thank you, sir. All right, I'll see you in a few weeks. Yes. Good luck, Thank I'll see you. you tomorrow. Yeah. See you, mate. See ya. So the majority of my clients uh, are clients who have cut their hair, the hair on their head, and then I incorporate the manscaping into it. I also have advertised on various dating apps. Not really supposed to do that, but you know, Australian barber working in London. If you need a cut, let me know. So this is where the magic happens. It is a little bit nerve wracking the first time you work on someone. You don't really know what to expect. The biggest prep that you've got to do is keeping everything sterile, keeping everything clean. The downstairs neighbors know that I'm a barber and I do manscaping from home. Um, I have offered my services to him, but he's never taken me up on the offer. I think there definitely are people out there who advertise manscaping and then also have sex with their clients, but it's not a sexual service from my point of view. I have had one, one incident where um, a gentleman was here. I was, um, I was removing his, the bulk of the hair around his pubic area, so taking his pubes off, and I just felt a little hand on the back of my head. I was like, oh no, we're not doing that. Thankfully, he was quite understanding. He took no for an answer um, and nothing else happened. His number was blocked and he never came back. I'm big enough and scary enough and ugly enough to, you know, to put a stop to most things. Um, so I do think it's important that men do manscaping and women do women's services. Up until about three weeks ago, there was a lovely big tree there. Now that it's gone, I actually probably need to close the curtains. So nobody walking past sees Marco, nude. G'day Marco. Hello, hello. Come in mate. How are we? Good, thank you. Alrighty. So this is it. Um, you've not had manscaping done before, have, no, you? have you? No, I've not. No, I know we talked about you want your back and your pubes done. Yes. Um, do you like a more natural finish? Do you like it completely gone? Natural finish. Natural yeah, finish. Much. And then the back. Take as much as I can off yes, the back. Yes, absolutely. So what we'll do is we'll start with your back. Yeah. Uh, you can either just take your top half off or you can take everything off. If you sort yourself out, I'll be back in in five minutes. Sweet. Yeah, good, excited. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is kind of something I do anyways on my own. However, I've got to say, whenever I have to sh shave my back, I'm quite flexible, so I'm all right, but it is a bit of a struggle. Like, that is, so, you know, this might be, this might become a regular thing if it goes well. How you doing? Here we go. Cool. Let's get you the chair. Yes. Uh, it's easiest if you sit down. If you want to raise the chair as much as it can go. Yes. So there's a lever just by your leg. Yep. Perfect. Alright, straight in. Yeah, let's get going. Let's do it. Let's just 
can't believe that you don't put something on the floor. Do you know what? I used to have a drop sheet, but it's just such a pain in the ass getting it out. So it's just so much, it's so much easier just to Uber up. So your back's looking good. We can move on if you like. Oh my goodness, that's good. I'm going to sit down. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Are you okay with hands or do you want to maneuver yourself? I know, right? I don't know what that means. It means, are you okay if I touch you? Yes. Yes, I'm just getting consent. Yeah. So there are a lot of different ways that you can get your manscaping done. Some people like a real minimalist look where it's everything is gone. Other people like the lion's mane where it's a lovely big bush of, of pubic hair. The first time you do somebody's manscaping, especially when you're using razors, um, they have to trust you. Doing someone's balls is probably one of the more tricky areas because there's a lot of loose skin. If you snag something, it's going to cut their balls. It does take a lot of trust for somebody to hand over their balls to you. The, the only people who tend to get nervous is usually straight guys who get <laughs> who get here and there's a little bit of extra blood flow that they weren't oh, expecting. Straight. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I does mean, that happen? It does. That is so funny. I mean, because it's the vibration from the clippers and somebody touching you. I just say, oh, a little bit of blood flow there. That's quite natural. Just, just go with it if it happens because in honesty, that makes my job easier. Everything stretches out, the skin stretches, and it actually is a lot safer. I mean, it literally is the beginning of a porno, isn't it? No, it can be a bit awkward for them, but for me, it's water off the duck's back, really. It's I think we're basically finished here. How's that for you, Marco? Yeah, that's great. It's definitely like a, a lot better than what I usually, you know, attain on my own. Once I'm finished my job, they get their trousers on. You can see them walk slightly differently down the stairs. That might be chafing, I don't know, but I think also it's probably that they're feeling good about themselves. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think that went really well. Marco seemed to be really happy with it, and more importantly, he seemed to be comfortable, so I'm happy if he's happy. I like doing this work because it makes people feel happy about themselves. It makes people feel desirable. It makes them feel nice. It's really nice to be able to give that feeling to other people, but I do enjoy that authority, that, that power. <laughs>